Sagittarius, hi. So this is going to be a reading for December 9th through the 15th for you. And um, I'll be taking a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll be pulling some cards from the universe for you. And that's it. <laughs> and these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check it out in the description box if you want. I think that's it. With the talking. Now let's get on with the reading. Which is still talking. Oh god, I'm talking to myself again. Ah, okay. Sadly, let's see. Couldn't make it easy for me, huh? Um, Saji. The overall energy for the reading here is the Seven of Wands. You're, um... I feel like you're kind of standing up for something here. You know, there's a lot of, um... Energy coming in. For you to kind of check up on you with that if you're willing to stand up for what you believe in uh, but I feel like you're you're keeping on here just standing up for for yourself for whatever it is you believe in here you've got challenging times here in your reading so in your recent past you get the Queen of Cups the Empress and the Devil uh, it was all good until the Devil card um, You fell in love with somebody. You were in this place where you thought you had it. You had it under control. There's no codependency here. There's nothing. Everything's fine. Everything's good. This love is perfect. It turned out that it wasn't quite perfect here. Um, there was something. There was something in the way that you thought you had it. Because you didn't, really. You know, I feel like things happen that kind of prove to you that, no, you're not really in control. Uh, you may be codependent here. Um, I feel like a lot of issues surfaced for you because of this love. You know? Um, in your current situation, you get the Magician, the Five of Wands, and the Nine of Pentacles. What you're manifesting here, what you're trying to manifest is... Uh, this sense, this true sense of feeling independent, feeling secure, all on your own, feeling good. Um, there's conflict all around you. There are people fighting, there are people gossiping, there are people competing for something. Uh, it involves you in some way here. So it, it's kind of interfering there. That's what I was saying with um, you're trying to do all of these things for yourself, standing up for yourself, doing all sorts of things for yourself and people or situations are coming in to kind of distract you from that you know in your immediate future you get the judgment card the five of swords and the nine of cups again emotional fulfillment you're looking for that transformation a major transformation is going on for you currently um what's happening here because this could also be a resistance on your part here you know for the overall energy so with this five of swords standing in the middle of all of this transformation and emotional fulfillment and happiness basically um this is telling me that you may be in a little bit of a rejection here a little bit of a mm, it may feel really really uncomfortable to you whatever's going on all of these changes and you're kind of pushing it away you're like, no, I don't want, I don't want to do this, you know? So this is what the Five of Swords is here to me, your resistance to it. Uh, let's see, let's clarify things. Let me clarify the Seven of Wands. Let's see if that's truly resistance or you just standing up. Mm. 
Uh -huh. So you're wanting to walk away from this connection that you feel is um, bringing you happiness, you know, wish fulfillment here. This is what it's looking like for you. And also you've got attached here the card of walking away with the Seven of Swords. You don't want to walk away. You know? Because you feel like this is it. This is it. I'm not going anywhere. I'm fighting for it. But something within you doesn't quite um, align with that. Something within you kind of tells you, no, it's not okay. It's not really happiness, you know? You just don't want to listen to it. So, let's see. Let me clarify that, Empress. Man, I love it when this happens. Empress clarified by, guess what? The Empress. Um, yeah, somebody here, I'm not really sure that this is you. It could be you, the Empress. But I feel like in the past, you were convinced that um, this relationship, whatever, whoever they are, that they're in your life for a reason, that this is a very strong soulmate connection, that, you know, you, you can achieve happiness here with this person. Let's see what happened next. Let's go to the devil. So somebody here wanted to um, begin something with you. I feel like it's somebody you already knew. I feel like somebody wanted a rebirth of your connection here. And it didn't quite work out. Either you were expecting this person to come towards you and offer you this brand new beginning. And then things didn't quite work out like that. Or um, they just offered it, offered it to you and you rejected it. Something in regards to someone wanting to start things over again that wasn't quite the best timing possibly that wasn't quite the best thing to happen when it happened so this is what's attached to the devil here which is telling me that i'm kind of getting the wrong intentions for that the like this person had they wanted to start things up, but not because of true love and, you know, things like that. They had something in mind. They were trying to gain something out of it. Whoever that was, it could be you, it could be your person, you know. Either they were really, really hurt and they wanted to come back and because they were too hurt. Um, codependency. I'm kind of getting codependency with that, so... I don't know who it was, but you may know better. I don't even know if it happened, to be quite frank. I know that that's the devil energy wanting to come back to this game just because I'm hurting too much or things like that. Let's uh, clarify the magician in your current situation. You're actually manifesting, you're wanting to heal. You're wanting to heal this pain. Um, I kind of get you in this place where for quite some time you were like, I, I really, really want to heal from this and just move on. And I feel like something happened that changed all that. Kind of like you skipped this step, even though you wanted to do it. Uh, this step of healing. Um... Yeah, you just, yeah, I know it sounds silly, but it's kind of looking like uh, I don't have time to heal or things like that, you know, and you just jumped it. You're like, yeah, I'm not going to, I'm, mm -mm, I'm not going to do this. 
I can do it later. I can do it in 10 years. It's fine. You know, it's kind of looking like that, even though you wanted to. Let me do the Five of Wands in your current situation. Hmm. This, for some reason, I'm not really getting that it's um, your person, like romantic interest. It could be anybody surrounding you. It could be friends, family. Somebody's creating this um, chaos here, this conflict in your life. And it's because of something that they can't let go from the past. Something may have happened between the two of you. And they seem a little bit bitter about it. So I don't know who that is. It seems like somebody's trying to create conflict here for you. Let's do the Nine of Pentacles in your current situation. Who is this for you, Saji? Somebody's kind of got their mind on you. Kind of like payback. You know, it's time for payback here. I don't know. Again, I don't know who this is. It's not feeling to me like it's the same person that I just talked about for your recent past, which you had a, a connection with, a loving connection. It's feeling like something else. It's feeling like something that's interfering currently in your life. And you can't really explain it because it's kind of looking like it came out of nowhere. Um, again, could be gossiping. Could be anything. Could be something um, related to you directly where you're in conflict with someone. But yeah, it's kind of feeling like payback's a bitch, pretty much. You know, on the part of this person. Get out of this reading. Well, you know, they're here for a reason, but it, it's throwing me off. It's going to take me, me off course here. But it must be important if it's here. Uh, let's do the judgment card for the immediate future there's your person yeah you're um you're healing you're still wanting this connection you still want to approach them you know you understand what this connection is with the lovers being here and with the movement card here on your part um, this is actually the Six of Wands. You're feeling really good about... You're feeling... You're starting to feel really positive. Once you start healing this, you'll start to feel more positive about uh, this connection. But this person is moving successfully forward towards this. And you actually need to heal first. And with the Judgment card, this is telling me that a huge transformation is coming your way. From that, you'll feel more positive towards this connection. Let's do the Five of Swords. Let's see what this is. Yeah, things are starting to tie back up together here in this connection. You get the Ace of Wands, the Star, and the Knight of Cups coming towards you. So this person is kind of like, yeah, I am I want you too. You're my wish come true also. I want this to start. Let's do this. Be a little mindful because they have the Five of Swords here attached to them, which is telling me that they might not be completely honest or that you've lost your faith in them. You know, you don't trust them anymore as you used to. So if that's the case, the later part, then you need to work on that. You need to see if, because if you throw yourself 
in this with lack of trust, it's probably not going to work out. Uh, so that's on your part to fix. If this is them carrying this energy where you can't really trust them, they need to make up for that. So I don't know whose part that is, but it's coming. You want to go towards them, they want to come towards you. There's a little bit of deception there. It could be self-sabotage also, but... You know, I feel like you'll figure it out. It's not it's not bad. It's not I'm not feeling it as negative and it's not gonna work out. Oh my god, no. Um but there is a little bit of something in there. Let's do the nine of cups. Yeah, reconciliation. It's coming in for you. It's gonna happen slow. And because of how slow it's going to happen, you're going to feel like, oh my God, can this get, can this get going, please? You know, uh, you're going to be in this kind of energy, but it is going to happen. It's coming up here as the two of you coming together. And that's actually going to make you really, really happy here. So let me pull up some cards from the universe for you to close it off. Yeah, currently you're feeling abandoned, you're feeling like there's absolutely nothing you can do about this, you feel defeated, you feel this connection, you still feel it, but you're feeling like nothing's going to come out of it. So uh, it's looking like in the near future things will start uh, to come together for the two of you. Currently you're dealing with some sort of crap, which, you know, um, that's up to you. To decide who that is for you and if there is somebody like that for you it could be your person but I'm not really getting it as that it could be somebody else trying to uh, make your life a little tougher than it needs to be so Saji this is what I have for you I hope it helped and I will see you next time bye